Now, what we are doing also, we are enriching the applications are going to interact with the products that you have subscription. So when you go to Science Direct, you are going to see an application toolbar on your right hand side, and that applications are going to provide you contextual information on what you are looking at. The applications are going to come out at the article page or at the record level, similar to the, to the uh, Science Direct article. So you are going to get more contextual information based on the applications. This is some example that how you can look at information now in the cybers platform. Again, this application was completely built by a third party. We cannot build this because they have their technology, they have their expertise on building applications like this. And what we are saying that here, we are opening our platform, bring your application, put in that platform, use our content, and whomever is using all 50 million scientists can see your application, can get more insight using your application. Again, this is a view from, uh, from Cybers Hub. You, are, you see that when you do a search, the application that you have subscribed is going to appear in your application toolbar. And depending on what application you have, they can give you the, expert, sir, ex, uh, the experts on that topic, or they can provide the additional information at the record level. This way, what we are doing, we are enriching the representation, enriching the content with the applications. And developers are key. For us to reach out to the developer community is going to be key. And what we are doing, we are creating tools for the developers so where they can go to the developer side and they can find the APIs, SDKs, so they can get all the resources of how to build information. And we are really excited that till we are still in beta and we are going to learn this. This is a brand new journey for us. It's a complete change the way that we operate. And we were able to partner with Stanford, Manchester, some real uh, top-notch institutions who also believes that this is the way for a publisher to go ahead to enrich the content, to bring more insights to the content that we have. And the applications that we are creating are, we started in four different areas, collaboration, search, managing of information, and analyzing the information. And what I want to highlight here is that we are also partnering with some of our competitors. Let's say Mendeley or Health Mesh. These are companies that they are serving in the same field as we are. But we are saying that, OK, if there is something that is going to benefit our users, even if it is coming from a competition, that should be here too. They can link to that competition too. We are fine with that. The way that we are looking is, this is just a, some people say this is like a pinball machine. But originally, it should have been like a garden. <laughs> garden with some fences. So what we are saying, hey, we are creating a garden. We are inviting all the scientists and researchers to collaborate within this garden, to play within this garden, to create solutions. And what we want to do, we want to do this together. We want to create an environment where 1,000 flowers are going to bloom. And we want to do this together with the scientists because we want to really create workflow solutions, how we can get enriched content. And we want to do this with the scientists, with the community, because we cannot do this alone. It's time for change. And we all need to change. If you look at some of the publishing companies that the way that we were operating, you know, some people say that it's like a vending machine. You go and then you take only the whatever is provided. So we want to change this. We want to change and we want to go to a marketplace so that you can go, you, you have multiple choices, and you can pick whatever you want from that choices. And as Elsevier, our logo says non solus which means not alone. In this journey, we cannot do this alone. And I'm not going to change the logo of our company, but <laughs> what we need is we are going to provide the key for the scientific community so that we can collaborate with them and we can build the solutions together 
and we can expose all the solutions to all the 50 million scientists and researchers who are using our platform. And that's really exciting change for us. Thank you.